Hey, blessed, beautiful day, grateful guy family. Welcome in to Fun Fact Friday. Before I get to Fun Fact Friday, going to get directly into the daily verse. Daily verse for the date of February 9th, 2024. Derives from the book of John, chapter 16, verse 7, and it states as follows. Nevertheless, I am telling you the truth. It is for your benefit that I am going away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I do go, I will send him to you. Amen. And again, it's from the book of John, chapter 16, verse 7. And it's morning for Fun Fact Friday. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I gave fun facts about a flying squirrel. And in doing that segment, I actually learned about um, something that was very interesting to me. And it's uh, flying snakes. I didn't know flying snakes was a thing. Or that they existed, you know, just another one of Jehovah's unique creations. And uh, I'm going to get some information about these creatures. And I'll be getting information from factanimal.com. Again, factanimal.com. I will have the um, link to the article in the description of the episode. And I'm going to get directly into it. So flying snakes are actually called Chrysopelia. Chry Chrysopelia, um, that's their name. That's the category of the, the flying snakes, Chrysopelia. Um, and Chrysopelia are most commonly known as the flying snake or gliding snake. They are a genus of the family Colobridae, the largest snake family to 51% of all known living snakes. There are five species of flying snakes which inhabit jungles, forests, and woodlands of South and Southeast Asia. They can fly from trees gliding as far as 330 feet or 100 meters. So again, directly to get into it. The flying snake doesn't fly, it glides. By using ridge scales located along its bellies, this snake can climb vertically up a tree by pushing those ridges into tree bark. When one reaches the end of a bark, it will dangle itself into a J-shaped bend. As it leans forward to choose a landing spot, the snake essentially flings itself off by thrusting its body up and off of the branch. While sailing through the air, the snake flattens its body to help, gl to help glide and moves in a serpentine motion to control direction and landing. The snake moving in lateral undulation creates increased air pressure under its body, causing lift, allowing it to glide with the pull of gravity. Flying snakes jump from tree to tree to hunt and keep away from predators. As flying snakes hunt during the day, it is believed that they will fly from the top of one tree to a lower level of another tree to hunt their prey. Flying snakes are better gliders than many other flying animals. Because they don't have limbs, the flying snake can actually glide better than flying squirrels. Studies conducted at Virginia Tech show that flying snakes radically alert their body, I mean, excuse me, radically alter their body, shape, and perform an undulating dance in the air, which produces aerodynamic forces that enhance the actual gliding motion. Flying snakes are capable of traveling more than 100 meters in a single glide. Flying snakes have an internal guidance system. Although ballistics play a significant role in destination selection, flying snakes can control some of their in-air altitude due to their ability to slither in mid-air. Smaller snakes fly further. Studies conducted by the University of Chicago revealed that there is a negative correlation between snake size and gliding ability. The largest flying snake species is not a very good glider. The golden tree snake, also known as the ornate flying snake, can grow to a length of four feet. As a result of its size and weight, its gliding ability is weak. Apparently, the smaller snake 
excuse me, apparently the smaller the snake, the further it could travel horizontally. One species of flying snake makes a pretty good pet. The paradise tree snake grows to about three feet in length. It is known to be popular in the pet trade in Europe. And oddly enough, this particular species is the best glider of the bunch. The smallest flying snake is the rarest. It's the twin barred tree snake, also known as the banded flying snake is the smallest species of these snakes. They can grow to about two feet in length and are considered the rarest of the flying snakes. Very little is known about two species of flying snakes. The Malukan flying snake and the Sri Lanka flying snake are two unusual species of flying snakes. The former is native to Indonesia while the latter is native to Sri Lanka, not much else is known about them. Flying snakes use their tail as landing gear. If they have enough space and they land on the ground, flying snakes appear to drop their tail down first, almost like their landing gear to soften and control their landing. The glide of a flying snake is very fast. The measured speed of the average flying snake in mid-air ranges from 8 to 10 meters per second. This allows them to catch prey efficiently. Flying snakes can only glide in one specific direction. Flying snakes do not fly upwards in any way. As gliders, and thanks to the forces of gravity, the trip taken in the air is usually to a spot down below the lunch point. The flying snake uses its head in flight. Rather than thinking about the landing, the flying snake will rock its head back and forth, which causes the rest of its body to, un to undulate and thus gain control in the flight. Flying snakes are colorful. Depending on the species, flying snakes are green, black, or dark gray in color. Some have yellow scales orange or red markings and black bars. The flying snake is very different to many of its distant relatives. It is slender compared to other snakes. The slim body contributes to the snake's gliding ability. The flying snake looks pretty much like any other snake. Just from its appearance, you would not know a flying snake from another different snake. If there are no appendages or other features that are common with creatures that have the ability to fly. So again, um, oh, this is this is a creature that you know I, I knew something you know I didn't know about until a couple of weeks ago, and I wanted to share it with everybody else. Um, share this information from FactAnimal.com, and again, uh, Chrysopelia, Chrysopelia is the the scientific term of these um, flying snakes. So the Chrysopelia is the flying snakes. And uh, I just gave you fun facts about the Chrysopelia. And again, check out the article for yourself if you want to read no more, that type of stuff. And, um, you know, like I said, it's pretty unique. Um, to me, actually, it's pretty scary. You know, I, I couldn't imagine, you know, snake falling on me. I, you know, it'd be pretty, you know, be pretty terrifying if you ask me, but whatever. Um, again, it's, you know, just one of Jehovah cre uh, creations and the way he details all of his, you know, everything that he's ever created. And I just appreciate him for, you know, these these unique animals that, you know, make up our ecosystem that are a part of this world with us. And, you know, they have their lives and we have lives, too. And we all filled with spirits and those, you know, anything that has life on this earth is filled with spirit from Jehovah. So um, y'all be blessed. I love y'all. Have a great today. Give love, be love, teach our children wrong from right. You know, they have they have a, a alarm in their head to go off when things don't feel right or wrong. But it's our job to understand, to let them understand, to understand that alarm, to to know when 
things are, are right and wrong and those type of things. So make sure we're doing that for our children. Make sure we're protecting them and make sure we're preparing them. Y'all be blessed. Be loved. Tune in to uh, tune in to the Grateful Gas Sports Huddle tomorrow. I have updated information from the NFL honors. Um, I will have revised information that I put out on Thursday. Some of those awards winners that I put out on Thursday were not the award winners from the NFL honors last night. Uh, so I will have that information as um, we proceed tomorrow with the Great for Gal Sports Hotel. And on that note, again, be blessed, be loved, keep Jehovah ahead of your life, and until next time, peace.